Hi there, welcome to another video from Parker Adams Boat Sales. And today we're here in East Cowes Marina to show you this. This is a Princess 54. It's a 2007 build for a 2008 delivery boat. And we're lucky enough to sell a few princesses, um, including a Princess 52, a couple of Princess 50s, um, but we've not had the luxury of doing a walkthrough tour on a Princess 54. And um, so we're really excited about showing you around this one. And really because this is the first model Princess really made with the full width mid cabin. And uh, we're really excited to show this because it's really when Princess stepped up um, the level of accommodation in their models and it's as you can see it's just a really really big boat a massive freeboard on here for a 54 footer um, but as you can see it's absolutely beautiful lines though the princess 54 and princess have always been good at this these are ageless lines beautiful condition the gel coat on this even though we're now november 2022 um, the gel coat is in beautiful condition and as you come round to the back of the boat is such an easy boat to access so easy to get on board and again just beautiful quality there's a and um, there's a four meter brig on the back of this boat and it doesn't hard, it doesn't even look like it's taking up an awful lot of room still really good access a really nice deployment system using this large passerelle a fully stainless seal so 280 kilogram capacity passerelle um, and the brig we'll do some separate pictures of that um, but it is can be included in the sale of the boat under separate negotiation. So if you like the look of this on here, it can stay, but you're gonna to have to pay for it. Um, but come on board. As you step on, you're just greeted with this lovely entrance into this large cockpit area. And this is a second dining area, socializing area, because you've got this huge fold up table, which is doubles as a drinks table or as a dinette. And there's so much room here, especially with the overhead lighting and the covers you can enclose or take away to have it open in the summer, looking out onto the water. Absolutely beautiful, I really like this. Um, but I reckon let's pop upstairs. Let's pop up to the flybridge. We'll keep the external going up these teak steps and then up to this fully decked floor up on the flybridge. What I really like about Princess is they're really good at helm seats. I don't know what, but most people you get a bench seat. I really like these properly shaped Princess seats. Just gives a real luxury feel. Very nicely laid out dash. Um, this has bow and stern thruster as well as it's still got original nav, but it's in good condition, still working. It's an E120 um, 12 inch plotter. And we also have the instrumentation autopilot as well. This also has um, radar. So it's got open array ray marine radar. And you can see the two massive track vision domes. Uh, we've got some additional um, lighting on the top. It's got the LED spotlights, but then as you come down into this nice social, I'll sit down just so you can appreciate the size, a very large social space up here as well. So you can get loads of people up here. Um, and this massive table as well for your drinks. But in addition to that, you've got a lounger here as well. So there's cushions for here. Um, and it's got good storage for everything under here. So the cushions are stored under here. Everything is under here. Really nice handrails. Safety as well is quite a nice position for a life raft. Can easily deploy because you can just chuck it over the back. And then to the wet area, which is a outside sink obviously just cold water here um, and then you've got a grill as well so electric grill but it can be operated both alongside but also out in the water thanks to the large capacity generator which is fitted as well um, and there's storage under these two cupboards as well uh, there's no fridge up at the flybridge here um, but it's got great storage and there's storage under the seating all around here as well. All right, follow me back down. I don't think there's anything else to see up here. Um, we've got the hatch, it's a Perspex hatch, so it's a see-through one. So when it's shut, you still get the light flooding down through it. And then we get access to the side decks. Now side deck access is very easy, nice and wide. 
as you can see I'm trotting along quite happily and we'll get access through then to the bow area very large bow area and um, lends itself to lounging up here um, in the sunshine and um, doesn't look like it's got bow cushions um, fitted because normally you'd have all the fittings around here but we'll confirm that but I'd say it doesn't have the bow cushions um, and then obviously access to the windlass um, and then into these large lockers um, for the anchor chain one either side and this one is for the windlass controls and then there's a wash down here as well so we can actually wash down the chain as it comes in we can get all the salt water off it so it doesn't build up with salt because and you can see there's a testament to that because the chain's in really good condition um, there's no corrosion or anything on that that's it that's obvious at all um, and so let's drop that down nice fair leads nice fittings and really nice chunky rails also with built-in stowage for fenders which you can see either side really really handy and I quite like the way he's rolled it up it's quite neat it's quite a neat way to do it um, so should we head back down and again nice chunky rails on the side as well um, just really if you are in a sea there's always something to hold on to as you're going around so a very very safe feeling boat I like the touches they've sort of added this on here so it sort of continues the um the smoke screen from the back but it just really gives it a nice line it's just these little additions that that are just added on that princess do um but i'm gonna take my shoes off because as you can see coming into the saloon area um you've got this beautiful really thick pile carpet um, and also you've got this large opening so all stainless framed I really like the stainless framing over just the just the white that you would get and it's a three-fold door so you can have different levels um, of opening and it's a three slide door so you can open it right up which you don't always get on a lot of boats um, but then as you come in to the lower saloon seating area so this is a socializing area this is somewhere you'd lounge around it's also somewhere that you lounge around reading the paper but also you'd sit around watching the tv now the tv on here we've got this great um, area here which is obviously a nice surface to use there's cupboard spaces along here we'll show you those in a minute but also we have the television which pops up electrically which is a really nice feature There she goes. That's it, all the way up. Nice Samsung television. And then we have cupboard space. I've not been in here yet, so this is a bit of a surprise for me. Oh, there we go. So there's a sink. So a saloon area um, sink. That's a fridge. That's a fridge freezer. So a nice saloon area fridge freezer. Um, this would also double as your drinks for up on the flybridge um, and then we've got a what was this oh they seem to have a coffee maker in there Crips coffee maker and then we've got obviously um, we've got a head unit for the stereo system and we've also got the box for the sky dish i'm assuming which is under one of the domes up on the flybridge and um, also a nice other area for putting bottles and glasses so again lends itself to that this is just a drawer for storage just got some paperwork in there um, and then i think that's just the blank i don't think that does anything but also you've got this nice cupboard which is lit um, for glasses it's a really nice feature princess always does always like this feature because it has a mirror at the back it has the light really makes the glasses sparkle and the clear glass just gives it you know a bit more of a upmarket feel um, and um, as we go through though it's not the only seat in there you've already noticed that you've got the obviously the dinette and this is um, somewhere that you can either sit around while somebody may be helming down below so you can socialize another socializing area and of course it's a breakfast area isn't it you can have your cup of coffee your cereal out looking as well so you can actually see through all the windows all the way around so you're in this elevated position um, which is a really really nice position to overlook the water because again these even though we're inside we're still quite high up 
you know, we're, we're quite high. We're sort of higher than um, most other boats in the marina when you're sat in the saloon area. We're as high as the radar arches on the boat in front. Um, but then you come over again to these lovely finished seats. Again, you've got this nice shaped princess seats to a really nice lower helm position. Now, I always like driving boats at the lower helm. It just you keep yourself out of the weather and um, you can sit here, have a cup of tea, quite happily go along. Um, but it's all about the visibility. And as I look round here, there's excellent visibility all the way around, um, including it always to me, if I can see the back of the bathing platform, which I can through the door, I can park the boat because I know where the back of the boat is. And so I can park and maneuver the boat from here as well. Um, and again, very well laid out. Um, we've got obviously bow and stern thruster controls again, um, as well as just this nice array of switches and dials and obviously all your instrumentation again, really nicely laid out. Um, and of course with these engines, these are, I've got Volvo Penta D12s. And um, we'll show you the engine space in a bit, but it has the electronic controls as all boats of this sort of era do now, and it really makes maneuvering a breeze. Uh, again, really nice laid out area. Right, let's pop down. So now we're heading down now, and as you follow down, there's a nice handrail. All your switches and everything are just to hand here from turning your battery switches on and off um, to your 240 system, and then all your main switches for powering up all the systems all from here, as well as even operating the generator from here as well. This also obviously has a holding tank as well. Um, but as you come down into the main um, galley area, again, very large as well. So a nice area. We have got a microwave combi oven down there and we've got electric hob as well as um, sink. And then there's a there's a place to put hot pans on as well to protect the surface. Um, but it's not the only features down here. Um, we've got a great additional fridge, but this is now, which a boat of this size really needs, is a full size fridge freezer. Look at that. So only if we've got the additional fridge up in the saloon for drinks, this is a full size fridge freezer for everything else. Um, but that's not it. We've also got the luxury of a washing machine and now we can spend you know not only a few days away we can spend as much as we like away because we can wash our clothes as well and um, so we've got all the features of home here now and um, and of course down in this area it now lends itself to the cabins now this is a three cabin boat um, we've got access to a front cabin um, mid cabin and then full width stateroom down below. So let's show you the smallest room first. This pop is this is a twin. Um, so two singles, um, very comfortable, nice size. And like I always say, I'm, I'm six foot. <laughs> We're always pleased to say it. Um, nice size. This one's actually slightly wider than that one. They seem to do that. My own boat seems to do that as well. Um, I've got a flybridge as well, but nice cupboard space. And as you can see, the boat is pretty much empty. The current owners have owned this boat for the best part of eight years, um, but they have literally just cleared the boat off ready for sale. So it's ready to go. There's no personal effects on here at all, um, but it just really gives a nice, um, almost boat show-like feel to it. It's like walking around a boat with a boat show. It just feels really, really nice. Um, we've got a day heads. Um, so the day heads lends itself um, to a full size shower, so a full size shower cubicle and a proper hard door, no curtains here. Um, and even when that's shut, it doesn't get in the way. So quite often these sort of shower cubicles can take over the room, um, but sort of not in this case. Um, really nice laid out um, sink area with nice vanity mirror, storage underneath, and um, we've got the electric um, flush freshwater toilets, again, into a holding tank. So there's no toilet smells here. It's very, very fresh smelling room. Um, really nice blind going out to a window and again, quite well lit. Um, so this boat has um, diesel heating as well as reverse cycle air conditioning. So it has the best of both worlds. So this really is also like a med-spec boat. We have a bimini, I forgot to say, up on the flybridge, there's a bimini frame, there's a bimini for the flybridge. We've got the passerelle. 
and we've also got the reverse cycle air conditioning so we've got the best of everything as well as the separate diesel heater for a UK boat as well so there really is everything here um, now this goes through into the main or well, the forward cabin so this forward cabin has its own island bed it has its air conditioning controls as well just beside the bed um, a television but really nice upmarket feel. I think even the styling of the lamps, the headrest, the cabinetry in here really gives it a really upmarket feel. There's a nice large wardrobe just here. So a full size hanging wardrobe with a light in it as well. I always like a light in a wardrobe. It's always a nice feature. Um, and, and we've got a bit of storage underneath the bed. Um, but also it's got, in case you wanted to have a, you know, if, if this wasn't good enough, in case you wanted to have a little perch, um, there's actually two stools that are neatly fitted just underneath the bed. So these just pop out and there's two neat stools that you can move around and sit on. Quite a nice little feature and not everyone would do something like that. And again, it's just another nod to the princess quality. I really like these carpets, they're so thick, they're really nice. All right, let's go on through. It's quite a lot to see, so we need to get, keep going, keep the momentum going. Um, loads of storage space in here. We open stuff, what's in here? So we've got oh, this nice glass top, again, just storage, under sink storage with a bin, um, and then, yeah, just more storage. Um, we do have a, um, it has a suction as well, so an overhead um, thingy majiggy. Extractor fan. Extractor fan, that's it. <laughs> Thank you, Andrew. I've served, I've served Thank you. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right, and then we go through into the main stateroom. So as we come in here, there's a full size bed. Now, see earlier full width mid cabins, and you'd be forgiven because um, some of them that they sort of you lost some of the headroom around one side of the boat or the other. Um, but as you can see here, Princess have made it pretty much the same both sides. So there's no feeling that there's a, there's a, you know, you're ducking or diving to get anywhere. It's just a really, really nice room. Um, really nice size vanity table. I love these windows with these blinds. Again, it just feels so upmarket with all the finishes that are through here. Loads of storage cupboards, loads of places to put stuff away. Just really, really nice touches. Full size mirror. So Andrew will give you a wave. <laughs> yeah, everyone wants a full size mirror. So when you're, you know, when I'm getting myself ready in the morning, you can, you know, I can sort of check myself out, suck myself, suck my stomach in. Um, nice TV and another large, that's a big one, isn't it? An even bigger wardrobe in here. And it even has some neat shelves on the right hand side, actually. That's it. So even has some neat shelves just on the right hand side. And um, again, storage space under there, um, as well as there's a couple of, I think, is there storage under here? I think it's just access. I think it's just access, ignore me, making, making stuff up now. Um, but as you can look through, all the headlinings are lovely down here. All the finishes are in nice condition. Um, for a boat that's now 22, 20, no, 12, 14. 14. For a boat that's now 14 years old, um, it still has exceptional quality throughout. Um, but it's not the only feature in here. Um, it's got its own diesel, uh, it's got its own diesel heating and air conditioning controls in here as well. Um, air conditioning will come out um, the blower here but also it's got its own heads. So we've got an additional heads. Um, um, which has, so we have the additional heads, which has again the full um, enclosure. Um, and it also has a large window and these um, mirrors. But look at that. Instead of a blind, you can just shut off the, the window like that and then it's a full size mirror. So there's no blinds in here, it just does, just does that. How cool is that? I really like that. Um, a much larger sink area. Um, and uh, then of course you've got um, the toilet, again, the freshwater flush toilet. 
I really like that. That's really clever. And we've got all these lovely finished doors as well. And then back out. We're still not finished though. We're still not finished because we've got extra storage. So there's not enough storage in all these cupboards. You need stuff, you know, you've got all your other things that you need to put all your sort of maybe um, your bits and pieces, your tools. Um, you need to put away maybe some toys that you don't want cluttering up the place. Um, so if we, now there is, there's another access to this as well. So on a lot of the big um, boats of this kind of size, um, quite often um, you get the option of a crew cabin. Now the crew cabin's okay, but I have a toilet in it, and I have a sink in it, never gets used, the toilet, you know, everything stops being, it's just used as storage. So when the options were put on, on this, they didn't go for the crew cabin. Um, you can also access this space through the floor where the table's fitted, but then because you haven't got a crew cabin, you've now got a massive, massive lazarette. You can see the generator just over there, but what a lot of storage and also what easy access to everything as well. There's even a hose down there on the back wall. So really, really good access. Um, a really nice feature, I actually prefer it not being a crew cabin because you get the two accesses um, and you can just put things like your paddle board, we'll just shove it down, kayak, just go down there and um, really, really easy. Let me pop that down. Um, and then, of course, you get that access through there as well. There is a ladder in this one. We're gonna lift it because the table's there, but we show you the idea. But then you can get quick engine access as well, down through, down into here. So I'll just put my shoes back on, just to go down into this space. Um, but straight away, um, I can see that actually doing just simple checks is quite easy because the first thing you normally want to know when you start the engines is the water flowing through the engines okay and straight away you can actually see there is the clear lids on the two weed traps the water strainers either side so even from up the top you can peer in and see um, so you can check the water flow um, and then you can also check um, the fuel condition, because you've got the clear bowls. Um, these are also neatly fitted with sensors. So these are water sensors, which will tell you if any water accumulates in the fuel filters before it even gets to anywhere near the engines. Um, and this is actually a double filter system um, for one engine. And there's a switch on the top. So if you do happen to get a blockage in this filter, you just move the lever and it will switch to the next one really really good um, feature and as you can see on the other side as well there it is again the same again for the starboard engine so really really neat easy way if you happen to get um, a blocked filter that you can just switch it over and this is really a testament to the princess 54 and um, being able to do longer passages um, as we swing round you can see how nice and easy these engines are. Look at the height above them. And we're just peering over to the fuel tanks. But then look at how nice condition these are. They're in beautiful condition. Um, and we can see on here, they were last serviced in July 2022, so July this year. And he's even put um, a heater on the top. So these are D12Ds and again in really, really nice shape. And again over to the next, this whole engine room is just really nice and clean. Um, has Tides Marine stern seals with spares on the shaft, so you can see that there's a spare seal on the shaft, so in an emergency, they can be switched over. It's a really nice um, addition, and you can see access to the seacocks as well. Right, there we go. Thank you, Andrew. Um, okay, so each engine's rated to 570 kilowatts of power. Um, 
we'll work. What's that in horsepower? Um, it's gonna be eight, uh, 800. 800, they're about 800 horsepower each. Um, but really good engines, modern style as well. So, um, and they're electronically controlled. So what you'll find with these is they, they won't smoke and they'll be high performing. They only fuel what they need to fuel. So they'll be economical for the size of engine as well. Um, so really nice laid out engine bay. Very clean down there as well. Well, this Princess 54, you know, offers an awful lot. Um, so if you want to see how much this Princess 54 is, come and see our website, parker-adams.co.uk. If you have any more questions about this boat, again, just message us, give us a call, and um, come and see our other videos on Parker Adams um, boat sales on YouTube. And uh, well, I hope you enjoyed this. I don't think there's anything else we need to show you, unless Andrew says otherwise. No, I think that pretty much covers everything. I'm um, sorry, I haven't said very much on this one. I've currently got a, an ear infection and not feeling very well, so I'm not going to do everything on this one. I've been very lazy. <laughs> that's all right, Edu, that's all right. Well, okay then. Well, if that's all, all well, I think I'll le leave it at that and uh, come see us on the next one. And, but for now, goodbye and enjoy your day.